Hi Fibernatics, today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the difference between hand carters and wool combs. <laughs> First, let's talk about hand carters. Hand carters are tools that look like this. These specific beauties are shocked curved hand carters and they are 112 TPI. Now TPI stands for teeth per inch, which basically means how many of these little metal teeth are on the carding cloth. The more teeth, the finer the fiber it's meant to handle. Now hand carters are really great for making something called roll legs. You've probably seen them before. They look like little roll logs um, that you can spin from. They're really great for drop spinning um, and really easy for beginners to work with. For now, what you need to know about these hand carters is that what you create off of these with the roll legs is that that is considered a woolen preparation. Now woolen just basically means that you're creating something like roving or a fiber bat on a drum carter or roll eggs on hand carters. And what that means is that you're creating a type of fiber for spinning like this roving. And I'm gonna open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. All of the fibers in this roving are all interlaced. They're all like this. The woolen type of preparation allows a lot of air to get trapped in with the fibers, which means that you're going to get a puffier, thicker yarn. This is a very insulated style of yarn, but it also doesn't wear quite as well as a worsted yarn, which is what we'll talk about next. Now I'm going to show you my Wolverine claws. Now I'm going to show you my wool combs. These are Valkyrie wool combs. These particular ones are the fine, um, the fine style, and these have been awesome because these it can handle a lot of different styles of fleeces. They can do everything from alpaca to Corydale to Shetland. So this is what I recommend when people ask me which ones to start with. As you can see, there are two rows of teeth, which is awesome because it ends up trapping a lot of the extra VM and little short second cuts of the fiber behind that second row of teeth so that it's easily removable so you don't have to worry about it when you're spinning. The wool combs create something called comb top. Now this is a commercial cone top, but I'm just using it as an illustration right now. So this is a comb top, and you'll notice that the difference between this and the roving that I showed you before is that all of the fibers are all going the same way. So instead of being all interlaced like this, they are laid on top of each other and they are very flat and all moving the same direction. What this does is it eliminates the air that is trapped inside and between the fibers so you're going to have a lot tighter smoother spin and that is when somebody says it is a worsted spin that's what they're talking about worsted is also a weight of yarn but worsted also refers to the style of the um, fibers being laid over top of each other like this Neither one of these tools is going to be a bad choice for you. It really depends on what you want to use them for, what style of projects you're going to be spinning for, and what is more comfortable for you. If you have a hard time with your wrists, um, the hand carters are generally easier on your wrists than the wool combs are, depending on how you use them. What I would actually recommend that you do is I would try purchasing some comb top and some roll eggs and deciding which of those you enjoy spinning more because that's going to give you a better idea of what kind of tools you would need to recreate that for yourself. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep watching my videos and also check out my description box for links to my website and my email list where I spoil my VIPs like crazy.